everyone welcome to Tony Talks. I share me to Tijade. The new lawyer Tiba Bambadni O Tijade Lati Wa expose a lot of things. Lati Wa analyze a lot of things. Lati Wa get can understand from point A to Z. Pushing law. Lori Oro Pai Mobad. Ejeka Joy enjoy one. Hello everyone. Um, Welcome. It is well. Sorry. It is well. Justice for Mobad. I won't you cuckoo or wobble. I won't you. I won't you call you law by Loro Kojiso. Amy, I say, I bolu, I dad you lorry, what it deliver. Thanks for watching. Till I watch, till I'll see you in my next video. Stay safe, stay blessed. I love you. Bye. The manager was a click with a Malian crew. It's like a happy. And then, then I ask her, Defense. a minute later, they said, the manager for Mubad. Um, do you know her? She said, yes. How long do you know her? She said, a long time ago. Then we're like, then we're like, but how come you know the manager for Mubad all these years and you don't know Naramali? Don't forget that the manager for Mubad, I'm talking about the manager for Mubad, that's Tom Kerr. I'm Tom, he's a tomboy. What's her name again? I forgot her name. The manager for Mubad. It's also here. She, is, she's uh, not a white garment. So, okay. That gave Mubad that manager. The manager was a click with a uh, Malian crew. She, her name is Shay. Her name is Shay. Shay is a click with the Malian crew. Mm -hmm. How come you know Shay and you do not know Malian? Can you see what I'm talking about now? <laughs> so, you don't need to say yes. Time. That testimony that um, woman went for that day, the other day, she shot herself in the leg. So now, immediately when she was talking, the lawyer went out with Adura. Shortly after, Adura, uh, the lawyer went out with Adura. Mama Mubad also went out with Adura. Mama Mubad was crying and crying and crying and crying. Talking to Adura outside the courthouse. And only for Adura to come in here. And then the lawyer said, calling for Adura. That, Where is Adura? Go and call Adura for me. Why is he outside? And he came into the courtroom and was forming sick. And was too tired to eat. Whatever, whatever. I understand. Because the mother of Mubad has already went outside with uh, Adura to beg him. They've seen that the conversation, the, I mean, this, the, the statement of, of Wumi, there is a comma there. And the one of uh, Adura, they want to hear. The, maybe Adura has already told the mother that he's going to explain everything. You know. The mother of Mubad was begging Adura not to speak. Crying, 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 crying. Adura now came here and said, he cannot talk. He has pain in his stomach. Come on, sit down. That's what we are hearing. Listen, the, the lawyer exposed everything. Just listen. Yeah, the mother was so in tears that she was like, I don't know whatever she told Adura, but there were people that saw her talking to Adura, scolding Adura. And for Adura to have come up into the courtroom and come up with that kind of drama, it means that they told him not to talk. And in the in the in the law in the in the law of Nigeria, you have right to remain silent. Cool. They needed that perfect time. Even when they told him, okay, what is wrong with you? He claimed that he was hungry, he was weak, he was hungry. It's okay. If we give you food, will you be able to get a strength? He said, Yes. Okay, how many hours should we give to you? He said, an hour. And the court was like, What do you mean we should give him one hour? One hour is too long for you to, for us to give, because we don't have time to stay here. Okay. And that's why they adjourned the whole case. The oh. whole case. And that's exactly what the lawyer was looking for. The lawyer was so good that it was able to tell him to, to, to wait. To come up with that kind of, um, statement. Um, you know, uh, plans. He came up with that strategy and it worked. They needed more time to go with Adura to go and plan whatever it was go going to say. Whatever he was going to say, they went to plan it so that Adura, when next he comes now, he's going to say that perfectly without mistakes. This was how they called. Please unmute yourself. Please unmute me. Please unmute me. Okay. What's that? What's that?
have Sorry, it was, uh, it was, uh, uh. Wait, let me lay down a bit before it gets better. I'm coming, let me meet. So, so now, for those of you that did not get the point he's saying now, because these are lawyers, they know what they are doing. When they asked Omi questions, she answered. Let's continue. Wait, I will, I will allow you to listen to him. I just posted. When they asked Womi questions, Womi answered and they said there were so many, you know, foul play. Because Womi was already prepared. Womi was... But you already said before that you did not see the fight. Mm -hmm. Okay, but you went to call people. Uh, what is the distance between where Mubad's uh, where and where you went to call people? Uh -huh. He said, by the time she said, by the time she called people to come and settle the fight, they've already, or the, or, um, the pastor, the onlooker, the fans, they've already separated them. Hmm. <laughs> and that was when he, he claimed, she claimed that she did not see when Mubarak punched the window. But by the time she came back, she saw that he already sustained some injury. Was this injury? The police said Mubad was bleeding previously. Now, this is the, what I'm trying to bring out is this. Mumi has actually forgotten that when the incident came up, mm. they went to the police station to go and write a statement. Yes. She has forgotten that whatever she put on that statement mm. is an evidence on its own. <laughs> the police came out to give a live uh, a press conference to the, to, the, to the national television yes. that Mobad died out of a bleeding profusely. Yeah. Mumi said that it was a minor injury. So your own testimony is going against what the police put down. Mm -hmm. Were you not the one that also told the police that, that it was bleeding profusely, right? Mm -hmm. Baba Mubarak said that by the time he went to the house, he saw blood on the floor everywhere. So, Baba had a case in this issue, and I keep telling people that Baba has a very big case against women. Number yes. one, in what I might be on more phone, I gave on my phone and we pick at your talk at your get your love around you for both of you to love each other, for both of you to be and support each other. But you came back to me, you brought the lifeless body of my son to me. You didn't did not call me, you did not none of you called me. Till when he was sick, he did not call tomorrow. Mommy, I've not called Baba to officially tell Baba that his son has died. Yeah. Till tomorrow, Mumi has not officially called Baba to inform him that his son has died. In the court, they ask him, "Did you call Baba that his son had died?" She said, "No." It's not why, because you and Baba we are not in good terms. If you and Baba are not in talking terms, we don't. Who cares about that? If we're not in talking yeah, terms, yeah, he just and lost his son. Says, this is involved debt. This involved debt. You still need so see, if, even him. if like small girls, some camp of women are saying that it's just a twenty-four year old girl. My own cousin got married at the age of twenty-four, and everything was fine. If you're twenty-four in Nigeria, you're a grown ass woman. Even here, you know what you do. Even okay? in Europe, if you can employ um, many things, then you should have known what to do. You have a family. Didn't you call your mother in America to tell my mom? Ah, my mom, my mom. Ah, my mobile. This is also what happened to Mobadu. Then they tell you to call his owner. Baba owns Mobile. Baba owns Mobile. He's the father of Mobile. And his, his son died. And you damn me fit not to call him. Till date. Yeah, you still yeah. haven't called that man. You have a case of manslaughter. And I would have told Baba, he needs to sue you. He has a very big case. Why will his son die and you do not even And we may say you want to see the man. Because you have an issue with you. Baba. Case you shot yourself in the, in the, in the, in the, in the leg and the court house. Now, Amen. Case. Thank you. Some of you saying that, yeah, uh, saying that you. oh, the, 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 maybe there's likely a fight. See, I want us to be on fact and evidence in the court house. There's nothing about juju. They not come juju. They not is um. There's nobody cares about that. No, exactly. The courts don't believe in juju exactly. or jazz. They we don't. don't they don't believe in that. Okay. What they works on in evidence, clear evidence. Okay. So now, the court. When I'm talking about the um the previous court case hearing, they understood that. There is possibility the court are going to support Baba to do a DNA test because they understand they understand that is there's a possibility that the child Leah might not might not be a mobile. Even if 
is for low bad, more bad. It's a very good thing. But they have to be, uh, because number one, Mumin could not defend that if she slept with um, somebody Sam else. Larry. Yes, you know, if you ever slept with Samuel Larry, she kept quiet. Have any man ever. Did you hear? The you, since you get married to Mubad, she kept quiet. Did you know um, Nere Mali? She said no, but you knew the manager. So you was the own boy of Sam Larry. Now, according to my research, that I was told that. Um, don't forget that Mobad and Mumi they've known each other in um, from Ikorodu. Mm -hmm. They live in the same area with Prime Boy. Mm -hmm. Mumi doesn't really like my Prime Prime Boy like that. All right. So Mobad had a lot of um, crush with Mumi back in the days. But when he got signed to Mub um, to Naramali, yes. Mumi we met Mumi again at Naramali's house. You see? And then, I've known you before now. We grew up in the from the same Ikorodu, and then it. whatever they have come up again. So now, share this video, please. Like the video and share. Boy, according to what Pumi said, he's like he's been exonerated, and whatever he's going to come out to say is another thing that he's going to. Because I know he said something that Pumi cannot look at him and tell him that he had a fight with Mobad or he had anything to do with. Because he claimed that he, that was prime boy. He claimed that by the time he had whatever going on with Mobad, there was no blood. Mm -hmm. There was no blood. So where, where was the blood coming out from? Mm -hmm. He said he did not see blood. And the thing is this, if there was blood at the party or at the show, there are security men there. The driver of that vehicle, SUV, was actually there. If, I don't want to, I don't want to be the one to help the courthouse or the um, uh, corona inquest on what to do. You don't want to find out the truth. This is my base. You know what? They need to arrest the video. They need to call him. They need to, they need to invite Corona Chief uh, 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 Chief Priest. Mm. Kubana Chief Priest was the man that organized the show. And for, since you're, you're bringing the show to Kurodu, every of the artists must have at least uh, um, security, security personnel that's going to be with them, attached to them. Every artist that was there, there have to be security. Stand by security for them. So you need to ask, when you called on Shibana, um, Kubana Shipris, you ask him, did you provide security or security for mobile? If you, if you say yes, what is the name of the outfit of the security unit? Call these people and call them down there. The time that we are fighting, you for me say that um, they, would, they should witness if there was actually a fight with, between Mobad and um, Prime Boy. They will tell you about that. Then you need to invite, you also need to call him, um, call Mobad. What is the name of the, um, of the rented vehicle that Mobad rented? Because he used, he used um, Prado. What's the name of the rental vehicle um, company? His name. I mean, call them. Can you provide me the drivers that drove those vehicles? Because so they the have not questioned those drivers now. At that time, call that person interview because he should witness that. What was going on in the car before the fight, the actual fight happened, if there was a fight at all? The, the guy was able to explain to you what he heard in the car before the fight happened. Okay, when the fight started, what did you see? Tell him, we explain to you what exactly happened. Now, you called Davido. Davido, you were not there personally, but your PA was there. If your PA is there, your PA, your PA is representing you. Yeah, he doesn't right? want to help so you call Davido. Let it not be I like he's Davido. putting words in your mouth. I'm not talking about a Davido Thank as you a so person. Much. I'm talking about a, a, a Davido as a brand, as an organization. So, you call them. At what point did when we call you about to inform you about the death of Mobad. We want you to be specific. We want you to give they us did a, uh, perform that very day to the same. Your phone. So when they gave you the time, you note it down. You call Slantan. Slantan, we heard that you were the one you were performing when the whole thing was happening, right? They called you. But Mobad said he saw you when he came in there, right? In the first place. So how did you get to know that he died? Who called you? What time did they call you? Let us know. You put it out down. Now, back to women. 
But back to Fred, by the time he came to the house, he saw much multitude. He saw the hundreds of people out yes, there. Please now tell me, I'm talking to the whole panel now. How is it possible for the father of his son? I that was why Baba Mobile came up and started talking about and he told the Yabo, tell Miss Mota that the why did they put Liam's name? That was what that that's what make Baba to start talking about the property. Because there was a lot of fair play going on before he died. Mobad was a quiet person. He came from an humble home. Mm -hmm. He knew that the father doesn't have nothing. He's yes. a hatred man. But Baba Mobad, well, he had the right to be hungry. Because Baba Mobad, Mobad could see. Because during that process, Mama Mobad came to the life of Mobad. Mm -hmm. In the process. This man was one who raised Mobad. Exactly. He sent him to school. Yes. He never knew that Mobad did not even go to that school. He was doing Yahoo, went ahead and do Yahoo before he went into venture into music. So now, Baba Mobad was sitting there. He saw that Mama Mobad, Mama Mobad that came back into the life of Mobad in 2019. Saying that they're already spending money on Baba Mobad. Do you expect that Baba to be keeping quiet? The man that raised that boy in the song, in Mobad's song, he said that I've never seen mommy for 10 years. Baba said it's not just 10 years old. It was 15 years that Baba Mobad was gone in the life of Mobad. And I came in 2019 after saying that Baba has become somebody to come and read for where you did not so. So now, Baba has the right to be hungry. All the time when he died, it was the man was just a quiet person. He did not know what to do. He, number one, he's an illiterate, he's a very quiet person. They believe they can they say that he's vulnerable. He's likely to be cheated on, and they're trying to cheat him. And that's exactly what is going on right here. The reason why the Baba came out to the public was that when he saw that the Eye of mobile Nigeria has gone into public. He said, Let me just cut everything here because he know that he, he alone cannot fight with his family. That's why he decided to just post everything in the air to let everybody to know what is already going on. But people were able to take side with Rumi because they believe that uh, as, a, as, a, as a norms that when the father, when somebody died, the family of whatever was that. Um, um, start to fight the wife. That is not the case right here. The case is here, the right here is that the family of the woman, the wife, is the one trying to cheat the husband. And the baba. I'm sorry, guys. Let's continue. This or uh, this very uh, particular message. As a vulnerable person, he's trying to. He doesn't have no power, but he's trying to protect the son. He because did well. I don't blame the father of Mubad at all. It's like. Wumi is after the proper property of her um, husband. The family of Wumi are fighting for the same thing too. Yes. Mobile's mom is just Mamoni Kobo Kobo. I call, I call her Mamoko Bongita. Hey, Mamoko Because he came out from nowhere to come back. He came from, he, he, wherever you were, he brought Adura along with you. Because Adura did not grow up with Baba. Adura grew up with Mama Mobad. So Adura said staying with Mobad. Mm. Mama Mubad came to the house. He said that my son was about to give him five million. So, but your husband, your own son, about to give you five million. He rented a place for you. Mubad never. Mubad had issue with his own father too. Why not? We basically with the father. He respected his father, but he did not allow the father. He did not give the father. Mm. You know, I can stress that. Like, mm, but the thing is that the father had a wife. Step one. Mubad like is not taking care of his father basically because of the stepmom. He knew that if he still gave his mother his father one million naira, the stepmom the stepmom would be enjoying him, entitled to you too. It's true. So that's why like instead of me giving my father money, I'll just be giving him stipends. That maybe he's giving, I, I guess he pays, he gave his mother or his father um, 100,000 every month. That's how much he, that's how much he gives to him every month for every month for you know upkeep and all stuff like that. So the father saying that mother of Mobad came that's back. because probably the stepmother is not a good person to him. Mobad said it on his on his music, say stepmother, no care. So you don't expect him to give that woman anything. If stepmother no care, why stepmother go chop money when money don't come? From nowhere, with all after he has suffered in, in, in raising Moba to where he is right now, and the father was the ha. The father wasn't happy. He wasn't really happy at all. 
Because the father was aware that Mobad got the place yes. for his mom. I have a question. Okay, go ahead. Thank you for all the analysis, uh, Touches. I really enjoyed it. I think you've really done so well uh, in bringing out so much details and uh, I applaud you for that. Um, my question, it's, uh, I agree with many things you said and honestly, there's nothing to subtract from, the, from whatever you say. One of the things that I just wanted to point that I wanted to bring out is yeah. that Mubat's dad Okay. The relationship with Mubaz's dad. Yeah. And I'll come back to my, before I get to my question, I want to tell you 100% that it has to do with, don't forget that in America or wherever, or anywhere you are, when you have a business, it takes up to five years for the business to actually kind of like, before you start really seeing profit. Yes. So I want to believe that Mubad must have had a plan for his dad. Yes. It's just that um, he's trying to get to a certain place, mm -hmm. then he would get back to his dad and take care of his dad. So I don't think uh, Mubad neglected his father. No, he did but not. But for the mother, honestly, as a mother to a mother, I will tell you that uh, Mubad's mother failed woefully. As a mom. And I can tell you one more thing, that the mother is more about the money. Yes. Practically, I can also say that the reason why the Mubad's mother is not saying anything is because Mubad is gone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And Wumi is in charge of Mubad's property. Everything. Right now, at mm -hmm. least most of it. If Mubad's mom should turn on Wumi, she may not get anything out of it. Mm -hmm. And that is why she's so close and she has uh, shown uh, Wumi. I'm, I'm still going there. Yes, I'm still going there. Okay. So finally, Oh, Wumi, Wumi, Wumi turned, my question would be, Leanne, for, for every young champ, like you've said rightfully, that um, this is the first property Mubad got. Mm -hmm. It is very, very impossible. I said something when I came here the other time. I said, when you look at the introduction, that, that took place. Wumi was probably in a third trimester, probably in a seven, eight month pregnancy when they did that introduction. So yeah. for women to twist that introduction into traditional marriage, Which she, she must have had a game plan. She twisted it, of okay. course. The, the news that came across was that Mubad was angry for she doing that, turning it, I mean, deviating from their original plan of introduction to engagement. And then when you look at it, Mubad died when Leanne turned five months. And then you're telling me that Mubat's property is in Leanne's, Leanne's name. I thought we said more. Which means you must have been planning whatever it is from the onset. Because Leanne wouldn't be the only son. Exactly. The only Mubad child. Gonna mm. have. The only so child. So why would he put Leanne in the first property? What happened, what happened if other kids come along uh -huh. and they're short of money. Okay. So it makes no it makes no sense for even putting Leanne's name a baby that you exactly. don't even know. It's you're not talking about a full grown, a ten year old, a full That's where the question mark is. So and which means their marriage is less than twelve twelve months. Because when why you look the at the why the desperation? Why the desperation? That's what that's what I'm trying to say. Because when you look at the pregnancy from the picture, she was in a third trimester mm -hmm. for a first time pregnancy. I'm also in the medical field for for a first time uh, third time trimester. I mean, first time pregnancy bellies don't show that much. Okay. So for her, I'm putting her in a third time trimester, and plus when you calculate the time, the duration of their marriage, and so when sorry guys, no marriage. And so when she had a baby, and when how old Liam was when Liam died, this, 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 Mubad. all these yes. things didn't make sense. When you tell it as to who benefits the most, because now by marriage, when we claim she's legal, she's married. And she's legal. Marriage, we may claim she's legal, she's married. She's traditionally married to Mubad. Not legally she's married. She's not legally married to yes, Mubad. You're right. Because 
by law, Nigeria has their own rules, but by the traditional marriage that they went through, which is really valid, it's valid. It's a valid marriage. But by law, Can I say something not. about valid marriage, please, in Nigerian law as well, please, very quickly. You know, when you do a traditional marriage, for your marriage to be Ooh, valid under the, the law in was... Nigeria, you need to mm -hmm. send all relevant documents he to the customer they they care about the money. for them to endorse that wedding. Mm -hmm. And that's the only time that the marriage makes sense. But in this case, I don't think any of these things were done. So, traditional marriage, fine, but for it to have effect under the law, you need to send where the father that gave wife and all of that. You know, there's a document you send to, to the customer. Mm -hmm. Customary court in Nigeria. Yeah. Under the law. Thank you. That, that, that is a legal right there. So in, America, in Africa, we have our tradition. We understand that um, when you, um, engagement is considered as our own marriage. Yeah. Okay. So when you go to the court, when you do court marriage, it is, it is um, considered as the white people's wedding. I'm here, guys. You don't get what I mean. You know, in Africa, we have a court called customary court. You know what I mean? That's different from the white people's court. Exactly. There's customary court. Okay. They reside in every local government in Nigeria. Okay. Apart from the proper marriage that you do in Ikoi. Mama is called registry. No, apart from the no, registry. No, they have customary courts. It's saying. true. Apart from the registry. Yes. That's a straightforward one. But when you marry traditionally, all the parties involved in that marriage we have to take the document to customary court. Yeah. You know, in Western world, we don't have a court that is called customary court. So you take all those documents to customary court, then they put their stamp on it. That's when your marriage becomes a legal marriage. And yeah. that's when, if you are going abroad, you can present those documents that you are legally married to this person. But okay. if you don't take your document to a customary court, in your local government or wherever this event takes place, okay. it can't be valid anywhere. Yes, I'm not going to I'm just saying. I, I, I want to agree with you, but I don't know about what you're talking about. But what, what, what I know is that... It's, it happens. It's true what, well, what you're saying. Yeah, you, say. you, you know what I say? I, I, I appreciate the fact that you say you don't know what I'm saying. I yeah. work as a barrister somewhere in the Western world, and these are the things we've had to deal with in the past. And every time these things are spoken, okay. when you reward the customary court, yeah, the, the customary courts are in Nigeria. They are like our traditional yeah. court. You understand? Thank you so much. Like, 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 Georgia, like, thank you. you. Can, I, can, I just finish, can I just finish? Let me just tell you. I'm doing well, well, my darling. I'm using my wife. Yeah, Greetings to you. I'm doing fine. Oh, my God. Sure. Blessing. So, oh, yes. the customary courts are like our own traditional court in Africa. We have yeah. them in Nigeria. So when you marry traditionally, apart from when you do, you know, when you go to... You go to customary courts, he's right. right. You know what I mean? But when you marry traditionally, and you want your marriage to be recognized as a legal wedding, all the parties involved in the traditional marriage, your daddy, your mommy, who gave... I can send specimen of this document to you. You understand? But if you've never had to use them at the point of law, you may not know that. These things are very important. They are very, so when very you important. take them to customary court in your village or your local government, regardless of how remote the environment is, they put their stamp on it. And that's when, at that point, your marriage becomes legal. Then you can take the same document to say you are meeting your husband abroad that has married you, or you are meeting your husband somewhere. Well, if you're still within family party like that, and you've not gone through that process, that means you've not got the legal assent to your marriage. Thank you. Right. I agree with you. But um, based on what you just said, let us agree that whatever you said is actually the fact, right? It's the fact. So my, own, my, um, my con conclusion is that Let's agree that um, Umi did customary court because there's a reason why they changed the introduction into engagement. 
They know what they are doing. They know the kind of game they are playing. Everything Baba Baba said was true. They changed the intrusion to mind. You know that you should know that they know what they are talking that they are trying to do. Now, and so just to add it, that part where he said they turned the introduction into uh in the engagement into marriage papa mobad said it and so many of us did not believe believe me it is true that's what happened they really did that even mobad wasn't happy about it but mobad just needed to play along why because of the child she carries in her womb for him according to because me i'm not yet to that's still what makes her to be the prime suspect so if oh, everybody was please. going to pine Mobad, to me, if it's okay. not the Neramali um, camp, then the next person suspect is going to be with me. And the third suspect is likely to be the nurse. The, I will not, not say that the nurse know anything about the bed of Mobad, but the fact is that she, was, she came to that place yes. at the wrong time. At the wrong she time. don't know anything about it. All the prescription, the injection she gave to Mobad, doesn't have nothing to do with his dead. Okay. It's apple is that the vital information that Wumi was supposed to give to the nurse, she did not give, she did not give it to her. Exactly. So I was supposed to tell the nurse that my husband is likely for her to still be... And he has all She did so not say all those things. So the nurse will know what to do. Blah, blah, blah. But she did not give the nurse the information. So whatever the injection that but they injected me... Beauty, Gilly. You know, did also the young girl, the Larry, and then... He didn't know what happened, happened. So the nurse is going to go down. Either she likes it or not. Sorry, then it's going to be uh, just... sorry I'm going to cut you a bit uh, short there. Uh -huh. You said that uh, Bumi did not give uh, enough information to the nurse. Yeah, yeah. As a nurse that knows what she's doing, did she check for vital signs before administering? That's an auxiliary nurse. I'm not talking about that. 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 As it, as, as, it, as no, it doesn't need. It doesn't need to respond. She need to check some. She need to do some checks before she starts administering anything. What kind of? Like, are you talking about one? That's a blind man. I think here, yeah, CEO, please, ma'am, and Mr. Touches. I think from what I can digest is if the ladies are not really nice. Exactly. Really nice. We don't have capability or yeah. skill. Exactly. Oh, no, she doesn't even have the idea. Okay. She's just working in as a normal cultural person like you and I who give false aid when there's an issue. Right. That's exactly what happened. But the area where I'm actually having a think yes ma'am, yes ma'am. The area where I'm having a think tank at the moment from what touches has actually been indicating us mm -hmm. right from the beginning about now or plus now is we miss us to side. Mobile has nothing that is a poor act. Yes, so that's what she said. Said the guy is done, he has nothing, and they're living in a rented flat in the apartment. That's what she said. Then I have an issue when all of a sudden it's known that he's got an estate. So who is lying? Then, right from the day one, the same way I feel, Mr. Touches, is I was initially thinking I need to I need to be on the side of this kind of a woman mm -hmm. who had the family of nobody suddenly lost a child. Yeah. Until the story started changing. All right. And I'm like, excuse me, hold on. Hold on here. That gave me a really big puzzle. And that gave me a serious time to turn back and start focusing in a different direction. That's why I found myself where I am at the moment. Very good. But I'm worried. And I repeat myself, if you're telling me that this guy is as poor as a church rat, he had nothing, he's living in a rented apartment, mm. so what's the rush? What's the problem? Mm -hmm. Why all of a sudden of the changing of name of everything to Liam, if he's so poor, <laughs> and if he's trying to start picking team with him, yeah, if it is true you fall thick and thin with him while he has nothing and that, 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 then you should remain that poor woman that even the family star, everything is in the name of her son and that you recognize her as a wife. It's not like that. That means you are after something that I, am, that I, I don't know, yeah. I personally have a serious concern. I'm worried about it. Absolutely. The way you place yourself and the picture you present to me is 
extraordinarily different from the picture of what I'm seeing. As a genuine trusted woman, as much as people claim you are, as much as you said you are, that if we are unfolding all this type of information, we should be finding Mobas name in the bank account, we should be finding Mobas name in the land, we should be finding Mobas name in everything. Then there we are. Then people can say, oh yes, what a woman. Then we can the talk up and do it for you. Exactly. But the fact that the bad will not in the country when they put the young's name on that document. So I, mean, I heard you saying it. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, this is another story of somebody calling to the bad. bad. That's why you, everybody left it to speak so that we had a very clear picture. And your picture seemed to tally with everything his father yes. said. Yes. And the man never lied. Herself, or knowing it to her as release. And it tallies with most of the things Mumia's sister released. I'm confusing him here. And it's very unfair if this happens. And that is why a lot of people are banged on saying, you know what? Justice from the bad on this ground we stand. Yes. I'm only against the fact that people were saying contact the president, contact the governor is a very good idea. One Mr. Ola actually said that I drop it to the guy. But later when I had a pushback, I'm thinking, do you want to tell me the governor of Lagos State is not aware of, of this problem or the issue on ground? Are you trying to tell me the Nigerian head of state is not aware? How come she had a donation for for women? I have a query and I'm still worried. In Africa, if anybody lost his Good evening, job, evening, the parents have to be the first point of contact. So in the, in the case of mobile, it's vice versa. It's that even if the man lives in a slum, even if the man lives in an uncompetent building, he, the honor and the respect must be given to him. He should be the first point of contact of anybody. Exactly. They should then start calling the wife to come and say with his father-in-law. Even if they don't contact him. No the father him. and the mother of the, of the bereaved are the first point of contact. Exactly. It's vice versa and word of opposite in the case of mobile. He calls for concern from someone like myself. However, as much as I am on the side of every of the members of the family, but I tend to look deeply every day. Mm -hmm. And I'm beginning to see in youth this man was seen as a vulnerable person, somebody who can't do nothing, mm -hmm. is somebody who people can act into a lot of yes, shit, no. and he hasn't got no voice. That's, That's why what they I did. think yeah. happened in there, but unfortunately, unfortunately, no, I better they know they wouldn't have, mm -hmm. better they know they wouldn't have a repeat. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. they never believe that the entire world can stand up for the man. We are coming for the support of Mobile's father, and we're not giving up. I rest my case. If I don't go, please don't go. One thing I just want yes, to do, yes, yes, yes. don't forget that when, when, when uh -huh. Don't forget that when they called the dad to announce, they told the dad Mobad was at the hospital, but then told him to go home. Yes. Don't forget that that story uh, yeah, is out. So yeah, we say about yeah, story on the internet. Yeah, yeah. They tell yeah. him to come back, but he, he, insisted, he insisted to come back to the house. And when he got to the house, they already traditionally embalmed Mubad. We got the correct permission. I ask that question every day. Even that me. these people are so bold. Yeah, you are you? Uh, Why do you even complete the funeral rite outside the box of the man in charge? You even read it. That's the meaning you're performing the ritual rite even before the attendant of the biological parent of the grief. It's wrong. It's very it's wrong. wrong. Uh, very, uh, very. Uh, very. Uh, the reason why they are now is that it's like uh, that. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. One of the things was the reason why she failed to contact him. And I was like, how can someone's yes. son die? Like, that's a very significant event. At that time, if you so much care about this guy, you shouldn't remember any dispute. Do you know what I mean? At that time, you very correct. Be your, yes, your, your brain is blank. Yes, but, but she still remember the dispute. The baby uh, was a child, right? At least she must have put a call to her mother. You see, her mother. Or didn't they tell her to put a call to the father 
Stop on the bottom, my full chest, I stand.